Hey everybody, we're doing a different kind of deal here. <clears throat> we got JCB this round. I've got, a, as you can tell right here, JCB 35Z1. And then we got a 417 wheel loader from JCB. That may be a little noisy here. Got a truck running, a little bit warm down here, but I deliver the wheel loader tomorrow, so I figure I better go ahead and do this. I kind of pulled an all nighter here. But as we get started here, on these little ones like this, when I load them all, I'll put that front boom up here on my top deck. Now, numerous different ways that I did do Pennsylvania. Do a strap. Of course, I put the edge protector so the edge of the bucket doesn't cut my uh, strap there. But as you can tell, being that this side's setting on the wood here, I didn't worry about blocking the wood underneath it. It's not really doing anything. Everything's all good on this one here. <clears throat> Over here on here, these JCBs are they done a little bit different here. They do have some tie downs on each side here, and then there's one over there as well. If a person wanted to, they can run a chain, cross it over there. But since this is just a, a small one, less than 10,000 pounds, only required to have, you know, basically two chains and two binders. And Zero did mine a little bit different this round. Until where I've got a hook there, run through the rub rail, back up on top. Round down and back up, and I've got my binder here. That's because if you notice, I've got my short chain, no hook on this one. So I'll do it this way. If I was using a longer chain that had a hook on both sides, then I'd put my binder here. You know, but like I said, if this was 10,000 pounds or more, you know, wheels or tracks, you'd have to have four dot tie down points. And if you do use those on each side, you still have to put something on this blade. Because then it's an extension. You have to have it on the boom bucket. I know a lot of people will put a strap over the boom itself. I do not like to do that because it puts way up there. Because even if it doesn't have a bucket, I will run it through that hole right there. Have them curl it down until that sits flat down, and I'll run it through there. Bed keeps it down on the bed. So that's how we run this one right here. You can tell. See, the tie down points are on the back here too as well. It's where if a person wanted to, they can run it off the back there. But like I said, regardless of how you do it, you can, on the front there, um, at least here I've got it on the front and the back, and I don't have to run chains there, chains there, one over the blade, one up there. And like I said, it's not Pennsylvania. I've got a bucket on this wheel loader, so I run a strap with an edge protector on the top and strap padding on the back here. That way it doesn't rub on there and cut through the strap. And JCB pulled a smart one here. See the tie down hook up there? One on each side. <laughs> With this blade down, and as long as you've got a bucket on it and this arm down, you can't use those. If you've noticed. Now, if this was on an RGN that had an open center, you could tie straight down to that. I'm on a step deck this thing's right at my height, 13.6. So with the next specs option, tie it around the axle. Same way I do my farm tractors. As you can tell right there, just wrap the axle, chain it, and then cross it on each side. Because if you go over here, as you can tell, you've got different places things could go wrong. As you like to see the hydraulic hoses. If you try to go through there, you got to run over the hoses. I'm, no, I do not do that. I don't suggest doing that. And like a lot of times, the way the, a lot of them are set up, the, the hooks are set up to where these arms don't go all the way down and block it off. So, and in the back here, they've got a couple of different ways of doing it. You can do like I did right here, straight down. I like to have a little more of an angle, but did this, or up here's another one. You could tie down. But since I've got nowhere basically around here to do it on this six, I'm running my three axle. I put another chain on the back back here. So as you can tell, there's one, two, three, four, five, six tie down points on this one. You know, like I said, I've wrapped my chain and then put that on there. But this is basically how I run these. We'll run by this other side real quick and show you. It's basically the same thing as the other side. So I've got my, of course, you know, with this being on tires of bouncing, wrap that strap around if you're using these snap binders. See where we've tied it on there? 
down, or like I said, you can run it there and back. So I went ahead and went straight down, then I've got the one pulling back here. So I've already up here got the crosses up here on the axles. You can see how I've wrapped the chain. We've got the bungee on it so it don't come off. But basically, that's what it is in a handbag on these. Not too difficult. These little ones are usually pretty easy. Like I said, I've got my other short chain on this side where I got the binder over here. And the tie down point here. And then the edge protector. Now if you find this, if any uh, uh, information uh, usable, uh, like the channel, subscribe, share it, comment, let other people know. We keep doing more videos as they come, and as I do more stuff, I add more videos. So we'll catch you guys on the next one.